We're here in Maine at Camp Kotok, the annual retreat of Wall Streeters, economists, money managers, you name it. Everyone's here. I'm with Rob Arnott, chairman of Research Affiliates. So nice to see you here on this canoe in a lake in Maine. Great to see you. And of course, you're not that far away from your day job. We had a big week on Wall Street in terms of corporations handing in their report cards. What did we le learn about the health of corporate America this week? Corporate America is doing okay. Profits are beating expectations, but they're beating expectations that have been ratcheted down very, very steadily. Profits lower than a year ago, in general. And so what we have is a softening in profits from what were really bubble profits two years ago in 2014 in the context of a market that's not very far from all-time highs. You also do some work with PIMCO. I do. So in terms of advising on research strategy a little bit. We manage the PIMCO All Asset Product Suite and the PIMCO RAE Fundamental Index Based Active Equity Strategies. Total of about 50 billion. That's all? No, I'm kidding you. So when you look at this kind of conundrum where you have this situation with corporate profits, but you have stock markets hitting near all-time highs, pulling back, then they go back there. What is an investor to think? Most investors are going to approach the market with blinders. They'll see U.S. stocks, U.S. bonds. Bonds have yields way too low. Stocks are near all-time highs. What do you do? Well, if yields are near zero, you might as well put it in stocks. We live in a global economy. And if you broaden your horizons, take the blinders off, there's a whole panoply of markets out there. Some are not badly priced. Um, European markets are trading at about 13 times their 10-year average earnings. Emerging markets, about 11 times. Emerging markets bonds are trading at about a 5% yield spread relative to developed economy bonds. What's their historical default rate? On average, one, one and a half percent. So most of that four to five percent spread is free money. Um, it's not free money if, in the sense that it's going to work every year. It's free money for the patient who are willing to stay the course for a while. And I know you do take a long-term view. So long term, how are you feeling about U.S. equities in terms of while they might be a little pricey now? Um, you know, let's face it, we came out of an unprecedented time. The markets are still trying to sort all that out. Mm -hmm. So looking beyond the moment, what are your thoughts? I think U.S. stocks are priced to give you a long-term real return of about 3%. You get 2% from yield, you get 1% from growth. That's the long-term historical average over the last century. Well, a 3% real return is pretty bad. But with bonds yielding two and inflation expectations at two, bonds are giving you zero real over and above inflation. So three is better than zero. Problem is, valuation levels are relatively high. Historic norms are down here. If you go even partway down to those norms, stock returns are very similar to bond returns, awfully close to zero real. So I think we're looking, we're in a low returns world. I think the most important thing your viewers need to take away is ratchet down your return expectations. If you expect high returns and you get low returns, your plans are destroyed. If you expect low returns and you get high returns, your plans are golden. If you expect low returns and you get low returns, what, what are you gonna do? You'll spend a little less, save a little more, work two or three years longer, you'll be fine. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of people that go out fishing and they have these expectations, they're gonna catch all these big fish, and then so many come back with maybe one little yeah. fish. So fishing and I guess uh, managing your portfolio, so much similar there. We did a little there. better than that today. We, I heard you did well. This morning, um, my boat, the three of us, caught about, we stopped counting at 24, we, we caught about 40 to 50 fish. Did you lower your expectations before you went fishing? I expected five or ten, so we exceeded expectations. It's always nice to do that. <laughs> Rob Arnott, it's been great chatting with you. Thanks, Thanks. so much. Take care.